Marcus Rogers and the Demonic Spirit of Jib. Exposed. Marcus starts off by saying God is getting ready to come and get his church. But then Marcus noticed he is blocking his shirt with his money that he wants everyone to see. So at this time in the video, Marcus moves the money over to his right to reveal his shirt clearly for all to see. The video is being played in slow motion so that you can clearly see and hear Marcus Rogers' deceit. Here is the video. Now, God is getting ready to come and get his church. We are living in the end times. That is the reality. There is a good reason why Marcus Rogers wants all to view his shirt. Not only is there a golden image on his shirt and those that worship it, but something more diabolical. Marcus Rogers used the image of money to catch the attention of the masses. He knows most people are about that money and so is he. Marcus Roger makes absolutely little to no sense in his message that he delivers to the masses. But then again, it is not the message Marcus Rogers wants you to get, but to get his demonic shirt. But I digress. Marcus Rogers let you know he is all about the Benjamins. Marcus lay out on the table his money and named each denomination as he went. Marcus Rogers then began to say he can separate the money. He says, I'm going to put all the twenties here. But Marcus laid down a $1 bill. Marcus Rogers then lays down a $10 bill and calls it a $1 bill. He then lays down a $5 bill and calls it a $10 bill. Marcus Rogers then placed the $100 bill down on the table, calling it a $5 bill. Marcus then grabs his hands together and says, I'm going to put all the hundred bills right here. This boy thinks that he is so slick and that you guys are so stupid. He is making reference to placing all the hundreds, all the Benjamins, into his filthy, greedy hands. Marcus Roger is also throwing up the Baphomet's horns, giving glory and honor to the Baphomet, a.k.a. Satan, in his ability to deceive you guys. People, please pay attention to what Marcus Rogers is saying, opposed to what monies he is laying on his table. The video is being played in slow motion so that you can clearly see and hear Marcus Rogers' deceit. Here is the video. Now, even if I begin separating, I'm going to put all the 20s here, I'm going to put all the 1s here, all the 10s here, 
all the fives here and I'm gonna put all the hundreds right here, right? Fives here and I'm gonna put all the hundreds right here, right? Here and I'm gonna put all the hundreds right here, right? Here and I'm gonna put all the hundreds right here, right? I can separate it all 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 I want, but what God wanted me to share with you guys is even if I separate it, it's still money. The reason Marcus Rogers misquoted the monies was to cause confusion, a distraction. From his quick, deceitful maneuver to where your hundreds, your Benjamins, will be placed at, which is in Marcus's hands. Throughout the video, Marcus Rogers throws up the Baphomet and 666 sign. He tries to be slick, but not slick enough. Last but definitely not least, Marcus Rogers wants everyone to see his shirt that he is wearing. This is why he moves his money to the right side of himself. The video is being played in slow motion so that you can clearly see and hear Marcus Rogers' deceit. Here is the video. Now, God is getting ready to come and get his church. We are living in the end times. That is the reality. When you look at Marcus' shirt, you can see the demonic is there, lurking in the background. Okay, you guys, you see this um, demon right here? I just took the liberty to drop in two yellow dots into the already black eye sockets here. So it's just a little demon right here with his head cocked to the side. You can see his nose area. You can see his mouth here. And it's just here because it is basically representing the demonicness that's on Marcus Rogers' t-shirt. Also, you see this graven image here. You see here, it's like his arms are folded here. It looks like the statue that maybe um, Nebuchadnezzar erected back in the book of um, Daniel, I believe it was. So this is this big, huge stat statue here that's erected up here, demanding his respect, demanding his attention. And then you see these people down here. You can see they have on like little turbans on their heads or something. So um, these men down here are no doubt worshiping this erect statue here. And then you see this word here, and obviously it is spelled backwards here. And then you see the arrows, it's like little um, little arrowheads here at the end because it is pointing down to the demonic. So um, this is showing you that the t-shirt that um, Marcus Rogers is wearing is very demonic, but we're going to break down this word right here, okay? When you look at Marcus Rogers' shirt, you can see that the lettering is backwards. Like I said before, you guys, you guys can see that the lettering is backwards. And we're going to uncover that. We're going to decode it. And we know that the kingdom of Satan loves to turn things backwards. So I would turn the shirt upside down to reveal the true meaning of the word. Upside down, Marcus Rogers' shirt spells J-U-I-B. Okay, you guys, you see over here? J-U-I-B. The J is backwards, but everything else is going in the right direction. 
So that's J-U-I-B, and that is what his shirt is stating. J-U-I-B is code for jib. And all they did, you guys, they just turned the I and the U and they reversed it, okay? So that you it would not be so obvious that the word jib is on Marcus Rogers' T-shirt. So they just turned the U and the I and they just switched it. That's all they did. And J-I-U-B is the real meaning of the word that is found on Marcus Rogers' T-shirt. And the word is jib. This is jib, a.k.a. Saint Jib. A demonic character in a video game. Okay, you guys, so this demonic being here, uh, his name is Jib, and they call him Saint Jib. And this is the um, demonic entity the word on Marcus um, Rogers t-shirt. This is what it's referring to right here, this demonic um, entity here. Here are partial lyrics to a song slash rap that describes Jib. And this is what Marcus Rogers is bringing attention to on his shirt, Jib. Here are some of the lyrics. Take a look at my net worth. Take a look at my cheddar. I have wealth beyond measure. I am filthy rich, you're a filthy wit. I'm full of pride and not thinking straight. I am filthy rich, but this is blood money. Obviously, this Saint Jib has a love for money, just like Marcus Rogers. Blood money at that. People, the musical lyrics for Saint Jib is very filthy and demonic. So I will play just a selective and limited amount of the song. Here is the video. People, 
you are free to listen to the full version of the song Saint Jib. Viewers discretion is advised and certainly not for children. And this is the filth that Marcus Rogers wants to be placed into your spirit, Saint Jib. He is really targeting the youth with this filth. Marcus Rogers is a big devil and it is his season to be exposed. All right, once again, the message is for Marcus Rogers. People, you are free to listen in in hopes to save some from hell's fire. But the message is for Marcus Rogers. I don't have to convince him of his demonic involvement. Take heed. Let no man deceive you. Yeshua loves you. Be blessed.